As a YouTuber, it is pretty important and essential to make sure you are continuing to create content that your subscribers love. Ask any YouTuber and they will tell you that one of the most important things about making videos is to keep on trend and to make sure you are aware of what's trending and what is hot at the moment so you can hop on the bandwagon. And although I do think that's important and I guess at times I do create content I know that is relevant at that point in time, it is also really important to have have those one-to-one -one conversations with your subscribers and the actual people that have taken the time to subscribe to you and take the time to go back to your channel and watch what you are making and ask them what they want to see ask them what they are there for because although it is important to get new numbers in and to get new people loving the stuff you make it is also very important to look after the people that are already there the people that are giving you what you've already got to grow in the first place so I love it when you tell me what you want and you guys are vocal about what it is that you're missing on my channel that's really appreciated because it's basically doing the hard work for me instead of going into my analytics and finding out what is wanted and what is loved I can literally just ask you guys which I find nicer to do anyway and it was very apparent that you're missing PO box videos when I asked you guys on my Facebook and Twitter to tell me what you'd like me to create and it's super sweet that out of everything you lot seem to choose these videos although this does give me the opportunity to talk about something that I needed to talk about for a while my old PO box address that you guys would have used if you've sent me anything in the past I think I've had it open for about three to four years maybe now is actually closed it is gone it is history it is no longer a hole sat in the post office with my name on it I was actually considering to close it for a long time and I was thinking on the idea for so long my PO box used to be in my hometown and it used to be in the post office which I would just go visit if I happened to be in my local town it was really handy it was nice to kind of just be down the road I guess but if I'm gonna be completely honest I don't know whether I should start bashing the post office but they weren't they weren't very helpful people I mean they try <laughs> they did their job I suppose but they weren't the nicest of people and that does sound really silly I mean all they're doing is supplying you a place for people to send stuff to but when you spend a lot of money on something you kind of expect a good service you know and it was a lot of money every half year I'm not gonna say how much but it, it was quite a bit for what it was a lot of the posts that people were sending me got lost and a lot of it I never even saw so many people were saying to me I've sent you something can you expect it and it never came I would talk to the people there about it and although they can't help it it's not their fault but they they never kind of went the extra bit to help me with it they kind of was just like it's not here this is probably why and then continue to look at me as if to say you're holding up the line can you leave now like, I just got the feeling there so much and I didn't like it especially because it was so much money but anyway sob story over the reason why I didn't just go ahead and close it as soon as they were being a little bit arsy with me <laughs> was because I didn't want that to be you know the reason that you guys didn't have the opportunity to send stuff anymore and I know it does mean a lot to you guys to be able to send something to me and that means a lot to me as well and you also like these videos so I was like I can't do that but then I remembered that my network I belong to actually offers a PO box service although it's not down the road it's in London like the address has changed I go to London enough and it's an excuse for me to go and pop to my network's office and say hi do you know what I mean so my PO box address is new it's a fresh new address down there it's been changed for a while now so if you look at my most recent videos it's always been in the description box so be welcome to use it and I will continue making these videos as always. Yay! So let's get into what you're actually here for and open up some goodies. I always get stuff from Japan. I don't know whether it's the same person that sends the stuff or just loads of Japanese people seem to like me. How adorable is that? It's a Mickey Mouse. He's like lying down with his ears pinned back. I don't know if his ears are supposed to be pinned back. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Do you understand how cute this would look on my bed? With some sweets that say, I think this is sweets anyway, it says Glamatic. Ooh, it's like chewing gum or something maybe? I got a bit worried then because that was starting to taste like soap and I was like, should I put that in my mouth or not? <laughs> There's pictures of pink roses and berries on the front and that's exactly what it tastes like, kind of like fruity, florally soap. Dear Poop, here is Mickey Mouse from Japan. <laughs> Thank you so much, that is honestly like one of the best things I now own from now on. I'm a huge, huge fan of Disney, if any of you didn't know that. Next up is a little box which I think is from a company, it's called Tokyo Box. Tokyo Box? Tokyo, Tokyo, okay. 
what is this? There's a little box and here are some pictures. This is from my 21st birthday. That was when I vlogged my little walk to the downs and we found some sheep. This is a photo of my party food on my Instagram from my 21st birthday party. Hey Ellie, hope you enjoy this personalised tea time experience. Looking forward to hearing what you think. Oh! I think I just broke it, that's what I think. It's from Boomph. Boomph. <laughs> what? So it comes with some tea, which I'm going to make in a moment. A butter biscuit with my face on it. This biscuit has my selfie on it. <laughs> When I took this photo, I never thought, hey, let's make this one a good one because it may be put on a biscuit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make some tea and eat this. This just needs to happen. Okay, tea, let's do this. Yeah, got my tea. Ew, <laughs> let's put that back in there. Wow, I'm gonna try it without the tea first. Oh, mm, yes. It just tastes like, oh, I've just snorted some up. <laughs> It just tastes like shortbread of icing on top. In a good way, of course. When I woke up this morning, I did not expect to be eating my face. <laughs> Amazing. If any of you know somebody who likes tea, I can assure you that this will make their day. Tokyo Box Booth. And you can send someone some tea and a biscuit with their selfie on it and I think that would actually make somebody's day <laughs> Especially if you know somebody who's particularly sad at the moment or just needs a little boosting or maybe it's their birthday a special occasion Who cares? Just do it. <laughs> <sighs> that has genuinely made my day <laughs> hmm. To Ellie, my name is Ava. It's me with crazy eyes. I mean, that's just my eyes in general, I suppose. There's also a bracelet in here. Look how obnoxious that is. Oh, and she's put in some erasers in here because I collect, I don't know if any of you know this, but I collect erasers. There's a little biscuit. We've got some emojis. Ah, oh, the love heart one's my favorite. And a Whittle cupcake. This is from Lucy and she's 14 years old. She says, I brought this necklace from Brighton last year when I went there on holiday to see my family. It doesn't really suit me, but I thought you might like it. Wow, this is cool. How could, why does this not suit you? I love this, this is gorgeous. It's so shimmery and shiny as well. Thank you so much, Lucy. Next, I'm gonna open this and it says, hey, Mrs. Postman on the back. Well, you won't be getting those anymore because I'm changing my postman because you were stupid. This is a yellow bracelet with the peace sign on it. Def Definitely need some peace in my life, so I'll keep that on me. Whoa, this is a long letter. Oh my gosh. She says, Dear Ellie, we met at your meetup in London yesterday. Oh Christ. This cannot be two years old now. I legit think this letter is two years old. And although it took us four hours to complete a two hour journey, it was worth every minute spent going around London's crammed, unfamiliar and pride filled streets. We vlogged the experience and had a fun time editing the footage. So thank you for such an amazing day. Oh, it's another really personal letter. Letters like these are one of the reasons why I obviously couldn't stop the PO box because it's nice for me to hear like the reason why people enjoy my videos because it's kind of like a boost. It motivates me to continue even though I wouldn't stop. But at the same time, you guys like the escape of writing a letter. You guys like venting and I want to be that opportunity for you to vent too. And it's so nice to hear people's stories and understand why I may help a lot of you. And it's crazy. Honestly, I have a massive bag of your letters and it surprises me every time. If anyone asks why I do this, as well as the fact I just enjoy it and I want to. It's because I feel like I'm helping people. No one in their right mind would want to stop that. This is a cute little one. Ooh. Today I choose you. That's what it says on it. I don't know if you can read that. I choose you too. Hey Ellie, I saw this and it made me think of you. Thanks for always spreading joy and happiness through the magic of YouTube. I'm so glad I found your channel all those years ago. Keep smiling. Cheyenne Jane. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Her videos are awesome. Make sure you go check out her channel. I'll link it in the description box below. Thank you so much, Cheyenne. And honestly, I can't read your name without going Cheyenne Jane. That's what her intro says. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh. <laughs> I completely read that card wrong. Me being the big-headed, self-centered person I am. I read that as today I choose you, when actually it says today I choose joy. Yeah. What am I like? Necklace is nice. It's like a little sunshine. And obviously sunshine goes hand in hand with joy. I love that. Thank you so much, Cheyenne. I'm gonna open this because it sounds really 
interesting, if that's the right word. Wow, I like that. Look how funky that looks. Ooh, this goes well with the top. Oh, she drew me a pink hair. Oh, please don't say you sent me this when I had pink hair. I'm so sorry if you did. Oh my God, she literally just lives down my road, which is crazy. It's me with pink hair. Oh, thank you so much. What's your name? Aze, 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 as as uh, as can't pronounce names <laughs> so because it's standard ellie making peer box videos a hundred years after people have sent me stuff this says on it don't open till your birthday well i think we can officially say i can open this because it's now november it says have a very happy birthday today's your birthday and so you qualify to take the time to spoil yourself you always bring such happiness to everyone you see you're such a caring person and as thoughtful as can be oh it's from mike oh gosh Mike's my friend. Hi, I completely did not know you sent me a card. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much. That's made my day. He doesn't live too far from me. Sometimes I bump into him every now and again. And he's a really nice person. He also has a YouTube channel, so check him out. I'll leave it in the description box below. That. Wow. It's like a bracelet with metallic-y blue shells on. I'm just going to shove everything on that I've got given. And it's got an owl on it. I love owls. Whoa, that's a lot of writing. Oh, thank you so much, Josie. That means a lot, and I'm glad that my videos mean a lot to you too. Bless you. I'm open this. Ooh, it sounds funny. I say that about everything. Basically everything you send me sounds funny. Wow, what is this? Whoa, that's so pretty. Oh my God, I wanna look pretty. Do I look pretty? I love that. It's so shiny. And it says, please keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Mwah, who are you? It doesn't say. Coffee is a great thing to turn to when you're feeling a little bit tense. I don't know how many of you are gonna understand what I'm talking about right now, but you know when you're just doing stuff on the computer and your brain isn't really connecting with your hands and you're kind of just doing stuff and you're not thinking. I literally just dragged the last part of the footage into my trash can and then emptied it in under two seconds and it just happened right before my eyes before I could think about what I was actually doing. Next thing I know, it's gone. <laughs> So you can't watch the end of the video. But then again, I'm lucky that it was only the last part of the video and it wasn't the whole video. So I hope you still enjoyed the video. And now I'm editing it, I can say to you, this is the end of the video. Woo, unofficial endings. And I hope you enjoyed it. And once again, I'll leave the address for my peer box down there for you guys to use or on screen now. And I'll look forward to seeing some more stuff. I appreciate every single thing I've ever been sent and ever will be sent. Of course I do. I hope you all had a good Halloween and I hope you're all feeling happy and happy having a lovely week don't forget you can subscribe to my channel and then you'll be notified every time i make a new video i've got social media such as twitter facebook and instagram so follow me in all of those bye mm -hmm.